Yeehaw! Oh, hi again, my uh, Welland fans. This is your Welland friend, the new Spider-Man talking. Video number two, I see. Man, I love this new camera that Jeremy got me. You know, now I can actually talk to you guys and send you messages. Now you can see Spidey almost every day. As you heard, the last video was a test one. Jeremy said he tested it out for me. Everything works just fine. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I'm in Jeremy's bedroom. Well, I come to visit Jeremy once in a while, but as you can see, well, he's not really here. I'm kind of bothered by that. You know, Jeremy and I, we go back to the days of, <clears throat> you know, the Notre Dame back in 2003. I forgot to tell you guys this. I was actually the Notre Dame Spider-Man, believe it or not. Now, as you notice, I didn't have these. I didn't have my uh, boots at the time. Jeremy didn't, Jeremy didn't realize that, you know, Donald Ram made my perfect uh, custom boots that I like to wear. But anyway, the point is, I used to help make promotions for, you know, the Notre Dame pilgrimage. Walk against male violence. I know I'm going to admit I do violence sometimes too. You know, beating up bad guys. But hey, it's my job. I gotta stop the bad guys, do I not? But the reason why I like to walk against male violence is because, you know what, it talks about violence against women. Not about violence against, you know, Spidey here. You know, Spidey can defend himself, no problem. But it's the women. Men out there, I'm telling you right now, don't beat up your wives. Don't beat up your girlfriends. If you're mad at something, take it out on a pillow. Or even better, <laughs> you wanna take it out on me, go ahead. But I'll just web you up, you know? <clears throat> But nevertheless, it's not right to beat up your woman. When I'm mad at my girlfriends and that, I just tell them, you know, hey, I'm not feeling very well today. I'm not happy. And they understand Spidey, so I just go and do my own thing. You know, like web swinging and taking off some steam. But I don't take it out on my girlfriends. Now, the other topic is the pilgrimage. All those people out in, out in Peru, the third world countries, my, the one year in 2003, I told all the grade 12s and 11s to please walk the pilgrimage. There are people out there suffering. And I am a believer in Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. You might think it's kind of crazy for Spider-Man to say that. But hey, I'm human too. And I'm a, I am a born-again Christian. See, Jeremy told me to give your life to Jesus. One day I will stop being Spider-Man. Because hey, people need to be saved. And I don't think... Jesus will love Spider-Man. He'll love the person who's under the costume. But my point is, is that <clears throat> there are people out in third world countries that are suffering and dying. They don't got enough food. They don't got enough water. Speaking of water, their water is ugly. They got poison water. Contaminated water. But my point was that I'm making is that I got a lot of people to walk the pilgrimage. I got over 300 of students and some parents and family members to walk the pilgrimage. That was one of Spidey's favorite, 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 favorite memory. I will never forget that memory. And speaking of memory, Jeremy was even nice enough. To all you Facebook members out there, Jeremy was nice enough to put his put the pictures of me at Notre Dame on that on, on his on his pictures. You might see the clue of who Spider-Man is now. But anyway, oh darn! Spider senses are tangling. I gotta go. But just next time when you see Spidey on camera, which is here right now, the Spidey, the Spidey viewing camera, <clears throat> don't hesitate to give me a call if you need me. Like I said last time on my other video, if you need Spider-Man, call 1-800-SPIDEY. Now, don't really call it a number, it's not real, I'm just pretending here. But if you need Spider-Man, just find me anywhere you need to. I'm always around the corner. Well, so long.